Hello my quilting friends! Today I am playing with quilting with rulers on my patchwork star block. If you want to learn how to piece your star block, definitely check out the video. I'll link it up maybe down here so that way you can go learn how to piece this cute block. But my quilty blocks this month came with the Drunkard's Path template set. And I looked at it and decided, you know what, this would be kind of cool to play with quilting with rulers. Ruler quilting has come from long arm quilting. Uh, long armers have been using templates and rulers to be able to quilt, you know, pretty much a variety of shapes, straight lines, all kinds of stuff. And it's really worked well when you can move the machine in the case of a long arm. Well, now we're taking this and applying it to home sewing machine quilting where we're moving the quilt and it changes things up a little bit. You have to use some kind of grippy stuff on the back in order for it to hold securely on your quilt. But pretty much other than that, it's just a matter of learning the technique and how to grip the ruler and move it through the machine at the same time. So let me show you how I played with this quilting with rulers on this star block. So here is my star block and I've been quilting it with this ruler and this ruler. Um, this is technically not a quilting ruler. It's a template for actually cutting out and piecing a drunkard's path, but I find that thickness is actually working really well with my machine. This is a long ruler, uh, just a long straight edge ruler that has some diagonal marks and the quarter inch marked out, and it is the ideal quilt guide. This is one of my favorite rulers for longer lines. Um, but just let me place this here and I'll show you what I've used it for. Uh, I took every triangle in the center and I marked out the halfway points along the sides and I used that as a guide to line up the ruler and then quilt these arches and then as you shift it over you're able to create these perfect echoes and that was really really easy. Um, the thing to keep in mind always with ruler quilting is that the foot itself is a quarter of an inch away from the needle. So it's really easy to do quarter inch spacings uh, with your rulers. Uh, over here I did a little triangle shape and again I used those marks that were you know, basically breaking down the triangle into halfway points and I just lined up the ruler and I was able, you pretty much just have to kind of be able to eyeball a quarter of an inch away from your line. That's something really important that I found with ruler work quilting is you kind of just have to be able to look at the guide and line it up a quarter of an inch away from where you want to stitch. And let me show you what that means. So this first line I have set up is actually marked and I know where I want it on the quilt, but I kind of have to eyeball where I place this end of the ruler. Uh, of course I messed up my marks and so I have a, a line right there, but if I didn't, I need to be able to kind of guesstimate uh, the space and be able to know exactly where a quarter of an inch is. Then as I am pressing and moving this through the machine, I'm pressing down on the ruler. I do have a sticky tape on the back of it that helps it to grip the quilt. I'm pressing down on this and also forward as I guide it and I'm pressing it against the foot. I'm keeping all of that. It's just kind of a tension. And then with my left hand, I'm just guiding the quilt through the machine. It's really important to push you know, with this nice steady speed. And notice how I just run the machine basically at one speed throughout and then my stitches end up you know, nice and even and good looking. So now I just travel stitch over and I travel stitch over to the point where I can see the edge of the foot is right along the edge of the line I just stitched. And now I'm going to place my ruler right against that line and that's going to give me exactly quarter inch line spacing. Because remember, the needle's in the center of that foot, and that foot marks out a quarter of an inch. Now you see my stitches got a little bit big here and then a little bit small here. That's because I increased my speed, but I did not, in, um, I, I was moving my hands still, or actually, what did I do? Uh, bigger stitches means that I was pushing the quilt forward into the machine faster than the machine was going, probably needed to put my foot down and speed up a little bit. That's what was happening. Okay, so now I'm going to travel stitch again. And I'm travel stitching in the ditch, so it's important to do that slowly and carefully. I'm going to reposition the ruler, press, just 
get that tension going, press down, hold securely, and slide to the machine. That line I did a lot more smoothly without the stitches kind of going in and out. I'm not going to go in and rip that out. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, fluctuating stitches are a sign that I stitched this, not a, mach not a uh, computer. So that's why I'll leave it in. I'm not going to worry about it. Coming in again. And this time I'm going to basically just make a point. I'm going to reposition. But here's a problem that I have with this machine is that the foot is angled in in such a way and it's resting low enough that I can't actually get my ruler right next to the left side of the foot. So whenever I need to stitch something on that side, I switch to a different ruler. So I'm going to switch to this one. And I can't, I need to kind of wait until I get that space and stitch forward a little bit. I'm making a point on that triangle and then I'll be able to line up the edge of this ruler with the edge of that stitching line. Okay, now it's looking good. And this is just the difference of thickness. You can see how thick this ruler is versus this one. And that foot, that angle bar right there is just coming in just a little too low. That's why I've got to use a thinner template. And here I've got, this is the Handy Quilter Grip Tape. Uh, it's kind of a sandpaper feeling. I've just got that on the back. That works really well too. Kind of like the sticky tape better. But either way, I just feel like it's really important to have something on the back of the template to stop it from slipping. Now I'm going to stitch over again, quarter of an inch over, line up my ruler with that stitching. What I found with ruler work, just playing around with it the little bit that I've done, is that to a degree it is a little bit time consuming. You have to sit here and reposition the ruler. But if you compare it to marking every single line on your quilt, it's certainly not as time consuming as that. Got a little wobbly line, it kind of wobbled off the edge of the template. If you don't remember <laughs> to keep your foot tight to the template, you will wobble off of it. And that's okay. I'm not going to rip that out. Yeah, you know, this is really just a practice piece, a learning piece, playing around with using this template in a slightly unusual way. So that's it for quilting with rulers. I really enjoyed playing with this little template. I think that sometimes cutting templates can work for your machine, but it's worth trying it out and seeing what works best for you. Make sure to attach some kind of grippy or uh, rough material to the back so that way the ruler doesn't slip as you're quilting. If you'd like to learn more about ruler work quilting on your home machine, definitely check out Amy Johnson's Craftsy class. It's called Quilting with Rulers on Your Home Machine, and she covers all the basics, shows you how to quilt a wide variety of rulers, and she'll guide you through finding a good ruler foot for your machine. It's very important to have one of these tall, half-inch ruler feet for your machine. Otherwise, you could potentially risk breaking a needle as you're trying to guide against the ruler. If you'd like to learn more about the machine that I am using right now for quilting with rulers, you can check out my review. This is the Juki 2200. You can check out my review right here. Until next time, let's go quilt.